79 is this Saturday, and while the card may not be as exciting as maybe the past couple weekends, it should still be a fun one. I think there might be plenty of surprises. Hopefully not a split draw like last weekend, but you know what? Let's just dive in. First up, a prelim fight that I'm looking at is Tim Means versus Andre Fihalo. Now, these two have a decade apart from each other. I know sometimes age isn't always a big thing, but Tim Means is not like John Jones or Anderson Silva. Age is impacting him, and you can see this. I saw him fight in Charlotte this past May. He had a split decision loss with Alex Morono, and it was good, but it's only because he can take a lot of damage. So he can stick around and survive, but he's not really thriving in these fights. And that is going to be a downfall, I think, up against Andre in this one. Both of these guys have three losses under their belts, and this one's gonna be a big one for both of them. But I just think that Andre's probably going to come out with a win here. It's really going to come down to who's going to get caught, who's throwing more accurate strikes, and who's throwing the hardest. And if nothing else, age is going to be on Andre's side. So unless there's anything fluky, I think Andre's going to win here. Next up, I'm looking at a rematch on the main card. It's Marina Rodriguez versus Michelle Waterson Gomez. These two last fought in 2021, and Gomez has lost her last three fights, including this one against Rodriguez. Rodriguez, she's coming off of two losses, but looking at her resume, I think her opponents are much tougher than Gomez's. I honestly don't know why we're doing this rematch. Well, I kind of do, but I don't think this one is going to go too far. Rodriguez, she also has a three-inch height and reach advantage. She just has more fights under her belt. Gomez is averaging a fight per year. Rodriguez has way more than that. So she is just, I think, going to win this one hands down. I don't think it's really going to be much of a fight for her. So you know what? Give me Rodriguez for this fight. Hopefully not a trilogy, but I think she's getting a win here. Last up, the main event, Fiziev versus Gamrod. Fiziev, he is coming off of a loss, but it's to Justin Gaethje, who now has the belt of all guys. Gamrod, he does have double the experience as Fiziev, but I don't know if that's really going to help him here. He is a great wrestler, but hopefully Fiziev is going to be smart enough to know not to try to wrestle him. He does like to win mostly by knocking his opponents out. I think that's the tactic he's going to use in this main event, especially if he's smart. So, you know what? I think Fiziev is on a trajectory in a good way, even though he is coming off of a loss. But again, that's to Justin Gaethje. I think he really is improving with each fight that he has. So, you know what? For this main event, give me Fiziev. But if you think differently or if there's another fight on this Vegas card that you're more interested in, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll comment under here. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I love to tweet about these fights as they go, especially after cards like the last one. No contest, a split draw. Can we not do that this card? Or you know what? Might as well go ahead, judges. Let's just keep that going. If you let it go to decision, that's what's going to happen. But either way, I'm still excited, always excited for another weekend of MMA, UFC. Let's get it. Not